Hello. Today I'm going to be showing you how to place a hold in the Kichigami library system as well as in MinLink. First thing we're going to do is click on the catalog tab. Now, before we uh, search for the book, I want, I want to limit it down to just items that are contained within the library. So I'm going to come over to here where it says everything. I'll click on it and I'll get a drop down menu. I'm going to select library search to just limit the, uh, the items I get in the from the actual library itself. So the book we're going to search today is going to be Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. One of the first things uh, that pops up is the number of results found. The first two items, however, are not books, but are in fact DVDs. So as it says right here in the, under the format, it says video disc. So I'm going to set these aside because I want to pick up the actual book. Scrolling down, we also have an audio disc as well as um, more books. Now, the thing to pay attention to is availability. Right here, it shows us how many are currently available. It says one's available, but, uh, but I also want to know which library has it. So by clicking on the title, I can sit and scroll down to the bottom here, and it says right here uh, that they have the one available is in Pine River. It also lets me know it's in paperback as well as um, which section it is. In this case, uh, it is YA fiction. I want to be, uh, pick my copy up in Mimiji, and I want to uh, pick it up there. So I'm going to scroll up here. I'm going to under the first option is library. I'm going to look down and see Bemidji is appearing, so I'm going to click more, select Bemidji Public Library, and up here, uh, select include. And here, here's what they have at the Bemidji Public Library. So as I look, I see here that it says unabridged, and that uh, the physical description is seven audio discs. So this is the audiobook. And unfortunately, this is not what I'm looking for at this time. By going back to the search results, I'm going to go underneath the limit search results again, but this time I'm going to scroll down and limit it by material type to just book and paperback. And I'm going to include them. And here we go. As we see here, I have five results. Now, if I wish to have gotten to this result faster, I could have under here, under library search, selected the option that says books, and then search again by the title, and I will have gotten five results. Now I want to place a hold on a book. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come over here, press place hold, and now I'm going to get a pop-up that asks for my login. So I'm going to enter in my 14-digit library card number, and then enter in the PIN. Now, if you've forgotten what your PIN is, the easiest place to find it is going to be the last four numbers on your library card, right here. You're going. I uh, take those four numbers, enter it into your PIN, and then hit login. The next thing that appears is where you want to place the hold. So coming up over to pick up library, I'm. I still want to pick it up in Bemidji. So I'm. And then under the drop down menu, I'm going to choose. Bemidji Public Library, and then place the hold. And there, now it says, uh, now as we can see, the place hold has been successful. Now, let's now let's say we wanted to check a status of it, anything we checked before. Now we can come up to the top, select my account. I come down here and select holds. I scroll down and I see here I have four items on hold now, two of which are ready to pick up. So I have two compact discs that are ready to go. I have two other holds whose status is pending that can be picked up at the Bemidji Public Library, as well as when the holds expire. Now I don't really need two different copies of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So I'm gonna cancel one by coming over and selecting the one I wish to cancel and coming down here 
to cancel holds. And I'm going to click yes on the cancel hold. Once the screen refreshes, it's, it's updated as three items on hold, two ready to pick up. Now that I have a single hold request out, I want to pick it up at a different site than I, where I currently have it selected as. Currently, it's selected as Bemidji. Let's come over here, select the book, and edit, edit the pickup location. I want to change the pickup location for this book, so I'm going to change it to Cass Lake. And there we go. The hold has been edited, so I'll be able to pick it up at the Cass Lake library. Now, let's say that on the book I'm looking for, I wasn't able to find the Kichigami system. I'm also, we also have the ability to search through the library system for the entirety of Minnesota, down here under what's called MinLink. So here we uh, have the search bar, so we can simply put in the title of the book we want, we want to find. And again, I'm going to use Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So, the number of search results coming up in the MinLink system are 217. Now, as we see here, the first option is clearly not what I'm looking for, for two reasons. One, it, this one is not uh, the book so much as it is the illustrated book. Also, it's a completely separate title. But as I come down, I see here I have the correct title, author, and while I'm, I'm not familiar with this particular cover, this is, however, a recent print edition. So, I could look that up. Now that I have the book I want, I could come over here and request an item. But before I do that, I also want to show you where this book might be coming from. So as we scroll down, we'll see uh, availability and holdings. This book is going to be coming from the Thread de Sioux Library Cooperative, which is saying it's 66.1 miles away. In, and that's in Mankato. So, I don't think this is accurate. That's because when I come up here, it shows libraries uh, near this address. This address is entered in by default. So, we're going to change this to the Bemidji area. And click Change Location. Now, it's showing that the, uh, that the library cooperative is over 232 miles away. So, I'm going to scroll down and explore some of the other editions and formats. So we see here there's over 568 editions and formats. Most of these are just different printings of the book itself. When I come over on the side, it shows there's 568 books, of which 477 are print form. So let's select this one right here. As we scroll down, we can see that this the nearest copy is going to be at Arrowhead Library System over in Iron Mountain, as well as several colleges in the Hennepin County Library. So we're going to go back to the previous search results and see if we can find one a little closer. Let's check out to the second result and see if we can get something a little closer. Here we have um, a first American edition of Harry Potter. As we scroll down, we can see here there's actually a copy over at Bemidji State University, as well as Northwest Tech College, Leech Lake Tar Travel College, and even in our own system. So let's put in a request for this. Again, we want to enter in our 14 digit library card number and the pin which again is the last four of your library card you select login then the only thing we have to do different here is to make sure we have the right pickup location so we come down here for a drop down menu we want to select the Bemidji Public Library then we come up 
and hit the blue request. And that's it. All the other lines are not important for what we need. We come to this page, which shows that the request has been successfully cataloged, and we can even go and check our existing requests. Let's say we want to cancel this because this will take a while. Unlike the Kichigami system, Minlink can take several weeks to sometimes a few months. If we can't find it in the Kichigami system, which in this case we're able to, this will take a lot longer. So we're going to come over, select cancel, leads us to this page, and then down here we click cancel request. And that is how you're able to place a book hold in the Kichigami library system as well as a request through Minlink.